Today, we're going to talk about inequalities. You know, the problems that have the arrowhead going in one direction for less than and the other direction for greater than. An inequality is a way of providing a set of numbers without mentioning every single number in the set. So if you see 2 is less than x is less than 12, that's a way of saying that x can be anything between 2 and 12. x can be a fraction, an irrational number, a rational number, or whatever, as long as it's between 2 and 12. You solve inequality expressions pretty much the same way as you'd solve an equation. There's only one difference. If you divide or multiply both sides by a negative number, you flip the sign so less than becomes greater than. For example, if you had negative 2x is less than or equal to 6, you divide both sides by negative 2 in order to solve for x and flip the sign so x is greater than or equal to negative 3. Because we divided by a negative number, we had to flip our sign over. Let's apply this to an ACT problem. Which of the following inequalities represents the set of all values of x that satisfy the inequality negative 3x plus 4 is greater than 6? The answer choices represent all of the values of x that satisfy this inequality. As usual, we'll underline the facts, circle the keywords, and label the answer choices. We'll start off just like we would if we had an equal sign instead of a greater than sign. We'll subtract 4 from both sides to get negative 3x is greater than 2. Next, we'll divide both sides by negative 3 and flip the sign because we're dividing by a negative number. This gives us x is less than negative 2 thirds, which is answer choice A. But check out choice B. It's a trap answer in case you forgot to flip your sign. So always remember to flip your sign when working with inequalities. Another type of question you might encounter involves absolute values and inequalities. Let's take a look. If the absolute value of x plus 3 is less than 12, which of the following is a possible value of x? a is negative 16, b is negative 10, c is 10, d is 12, and e is 13. As always, we'll do our underlining, circling, and labeling. Now, if we're looking at an absolute value inequality, we're actually looking at two inequalities, one where x is positive and the other where x is negative. So our positive inequality is easy. Just drop the absolute value signs to get x plus 3 is less than 12 and subtract 3 from both sides, which works out to x is less than 9. To find the negative answer for x, drop the absolute value signs, negate the right side to make it negative 12, and flip the less than sign to a greater than sign. That means that we get x plus 3 is greater than negative 12. Subtract 3 from both sides and we get x is greater than negative 15. So we know that x is less than 9 and greater than negative 15, which we can write like this. This means we're looking for an answer between negative 15 and 9. The only answer that fits that bill is b, negative 10. Remember, point your arrowhead in the right direction and you'll be on your way to hitting your target ACT score. Now that you've learned about inequalities, make sure you apply your knowledge by solving some practice problems.